Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In our last video, we created this block postgrad using free Elementor and as promised. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can convert this to a slider or a carousel. Means that how we can create a block post carousel or slider using free Elementor. And for this, we will be using the same plugin which is Ultimate Foskit. You can go to this link in the description to get this plugin. This is free by the way. Then go to demo and you can explore all the demos available in this free plugin. Now most of you guys have commented that this plugin is not free but let me tell you that this is a free plugin and it also has free version ok. You can switch to free. Now all these elements are available in the free version that you can install and you can use for free using free elementor. Let me show you a few of these and let's explore some carousel example then we'll show you how we can create it ok. So this is the first one Alex carousel demo. You can see this is a blog post slider. This is the author name, the picture and also the date and the featured image in the background. This is the first title, the first category and this is read more ok. This is just one of the look. This is another one with these arrows. And this is another one with autoplay. And also these mouse hour effects. This is another one with inside arrows. Another one and so on. This is a slider with this effect. This is with this one. And you can notice the varieties. This is just one element. Let's switch to another one. This is a mox carousel. And this shape, okay. The middle one has core image. And all these has this image with this title, category, date, and so on. Then this is another one. Another one. You can notice the dots, okay. And this is another one. And let's switch to another one, which is the lice carousel. You can notice the hover effects and the image in the background and also you can see the category on hover. This is another one with these dots. Another one with blur images and so on. So you can use them and you can customize them based on your need. Okay, let's explore another one, which is this carbon slider rim ok this is another one and another one and so on ok now let's see how we can use this plugin and how to create a blog post carousel or slider again to download the plugin for free just go to this link and then click on download free and you will be able to get this zip file ok then go to your wolf's dashboard and here you can go to plugins add new then click upload plugin and upload that plugin over here. And once you upload and activate that plugin, you will see a new tab here, ultimate force cut. You can just go here and click on core widgets. And again, these are the core widgets. Some are free and some are pro. Okay. You can switch to free. And here you can enable and disable the elements that you need. Okay. If you only need the carousels, you can just search for carousel and you can activate them. And you can keep the rest of them disabled to speed up your website. Okay. Now as we are using these carousels, so I'll just enable them. Same goes for this one. So you can enable all these carousels, ok. And then scroll down and click on save changes. And setting save successfully, now go ahead and edit any page with Elementor. We will use this same page that we created in our last video, so let's edit it with Elementor. And this is the first grid created using this same plugin, ok. I'll just duplicate this container. Let's scroll down and I'll call this first carousel and slider. Now let's delete this one and here we will search for carousel. Now you can see all elements from that plugin. This UP indicates that this is coming from that plugin ultimate post cut. Okay. LX carousel, LIS carousel, alter carousel and so on. You can just drag any of them and you will get an instant look up the first ok these are the first coming from my dashboard i have explained this in my previous video ok let me show you quickly again if i go to dashboard and go to first here you will find all the first that you will see over there ok so you can add your first here and then you can display them on your website using elementor so this is our first carousel ok now you can update and change the rest of the settings like if you want to change the number of columns you can change them over here just like this but three were fine so i'll choose three this is the item gap okay this is 20 now let's increase it you can see this okay let's keep it 30. now this is the item height if you want to give this specific height you can increase and decrease the height over here okay like this 
and here you can change the image resolution now this is a little blur so I'll choose high resolution now you can see high quality images okay and this is the content position which is on the right side this is query where you can decide the number of hosts these are now displaying sys host and the source are hosts you can display pages landing pages and products here okay if you switch to products now this will display the WooCommerce products okay but let's go back to hosts and here you can include specific post by from an author or terms okay date order by in order by descending and so on i have discussed all these things in my previous video okay i'll just show you how you can design this schedule okay so under additional settings you can enable and disable title category read more and author if you don't want the read more you can just disable it now you won't see read more okay if you want to disable the title you can disable it and so on i don't want to display the category so i'll just disable it and there we go okay so these things are very simple scroll down go to navigation and here we are displaying arrows okay if you want to display dots you can just go to arrows and dots now we have both arrows and dots you can change the bullets the scroll bar and so on then under carousel settings you can switch the direction to horizontal or vertical you can change the layout to carousel or a cover flow like this one okay let's go back to carousel this is auto play which is set already and this is auto play speed fast and hour and so on all these things are very simple so let's not go in much detail you can go to style tab and you can customize the slider further okay like you can give some border radius to these items you can give box shadows you can go to content and you can change these settings then go to title to change the title style color typography you can see underline now you can see the underline effects okay and same goes for the category where you can change the category spacing colors colors and house background type and so on then same goes for read mode you can change the read mode color the read mode background and so on and this is meta where you can do settings for the avatar author name and date okay you can then navigation so you can stylize your navigation here like the arrows and dots let me show you quickly i want to give this another color so i'll change it and for the active i'll use another color okay so in this way you can change these colors and you can change the border radius the height width and so on same goes for our other carousel okay if i search for carousel i can use alter carousel which will give us another shape okay and this is the same one that i have used in the grid here okay then i have stylized this in my previous video and now this is another carousel that you can customize let's search again this is another one kmux slider or something which is in this look okay very very nice let's search another one which is this elite carousel and it has this look so this is how you can create and customize a blog post carousel or slider using free elementor again this plugin is free you can download this from the link in the description and also i am using free elementor here okay and in the next video i will show you how you can create a force category slider using this free plugin okay so stay tuned for that video and subscribe for more videos like this still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next